in uh, T.I.'s son, King, got into it. First of all, production. Why why y'all use that picture? You know I'm not mature enough for this conversation. <laughs> Like you know, you know who you're dealing with on this panel. You know <laughs> who is on this panel, and you put that picture. I know there was other pictures y'all could have used, but I'm gonna go ahead and not look at the left side of my screen. I'm gonna read the prompter and not. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna be professional. Tiny and Ti's son King got into a heated argument with his parents at yesterday's Falcons game. Take a look. You wanna hide it for the world? I'm gonna put it out there for them to see. Amen. Uh, hey I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind a mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. Based on the clip, it seems like King was upset about his parents calling him spoiled, implying that he grew up with a silver spoon, which I would love to have grown up with a silver spoon. Seems like King really wants that, that street cred. What are your thoughts on this situation? Alex, go to you first. You know, there are two things here. One is, <clears throat> King, <laughs> I just want to know, what is he thinking, saying that he didn't grow up privileged with his family? Whether you stay with them or not, you are now sitting in a $30,000 suite, the guests of the National Football League and the Atlanta Falcons. You're allowed access to the field where you scream some obscenities there as well. If that ain't privileged, son, then I don't know what is. Now, on the other side of that, I got to be 110% honest, guys. Every time I see and hear King say something towards his family, I get more and more concerned. Is there something that happened to King that we don't know about? Is there something that he went through as a child that we're not privy to? Because this has gotten deep now. I mean, it's deep to the point where it's either extremely awkward or the boys telling the truth. So my question is, if we, if, if T.I. and Tiny didn't silence King, what would he actually tell us about his parents? Because there is trauma written all over this young man. There is also like pain written all over this young man, the way that he's acting out and the things that he's saying. And at this point, I need answers because this ain't working the way that it's presented to the rest of the public. Funky, what are your thoughts? You know what, to Al's point, uh, I see the pain and the trauma too. Um, I'm not entertained when I see King. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed. Um, and I could imagine the slaves are turning over in their graves. Can you imagine your parents doing everything possible to get you and move the family out of the hood? And all you want to do is be from the hood. It's just so bewildering to me. And I think the bigger conversation or the more evolved conversation that we need to be having is that why is it that even when they're not from the streets that our black young men are so attracted to it? Right. And why is it such a rites of passage? And why are we so turned on by the notion of being from the streets or part of a gang or toting a gun or moving bricks? Why are we so turned on? Why is our manhood tied to these types of things? Like, I, I really want us to, somebody to dig into the deeper psychology of the young Black man and his infatuation with the streets. I hate it too, you know? Like, I, I, I talked about that today on The Breakfast Club about how his parents, you have two superstar parents that provided you with everything. You Even a TV show, even relevancy, even fame. I wonder if, if he resents his parents' fame because he really wants that. He really wants to make a lane for himself and he doesn't get that respect on his own. So maybe there's a little bit of jealousy and resentment. Oh, listen, mothers and fathers can be jealous of their kids and kids can be jealous of their parents. It goes both ways. I I, I don't, I haven't heard of any bad parenting with him, I, but we got him out in the house. But I, I hated to see this, like fighting for street credibility. I love being, listen, people, people that are really from the hood, they don't glamorize it. They kind of want to get out if you really had to deal with the real struggles and the hurtful things that go down in the hood. It's not a thing to be glamorizing. We got to get lives together. Just like when we, we equate being intelligent with whiteness, you know, like we got to stop that. Like we, it's okay to like, what's wrong, Al? What's going on? We got to get your, the internet together. <laughs>
Oh Lord, it's my just freeze it a little bit. Go ahead, baby. I'm so gonna... it just follows me wherever I go. You know, let me wrap this up, King. It ain't a good big deal to be from the hood and be happy you weren't there and keep yeah, knock it off.